the media every single negative of Donald Trump. Do we ever hear about the virtues of Donald Trump? Ever. If you are facing 600 years in federal prison, he has every reason to give up because you will be in a place in life where it feels like the walls are closing in, where everything is collapsing. And I want you to look and say, you know what, despite all the negatives I hear about him, I think it is darn admirable that this guy keeps on fighting and he keeps on scrapping and he will not give up. So, wow. as far as, as far as, so look, I, I'm sure you guys all have mixed opinions of him. I, I honestly have heard it all. I really don't care. So, I mean, I, I'm not here to convince you otherwise. I'm just gonna convince you one thing, okay? You will experience adversity in life. It's a guarantee. There'll be times where you get sued, you get lied about, you get leaked on by a former employee. All these things are a guarantee of being an entrepreneur. And we hear about on the media every single negative of Donald Trump. Narcissist, egotist, whatever. Do we ever hear about the virtues of Donald Trump? Ever. Let me tell you one. I pray that you guys are a fraction as tough as he is when the whole world comes collapsing down around you or around him. And you might say, oh, Charlie, that doesn't convince me. If you were facing 600 years in federal prison, literally like 100 different lawsuits, everybody coming against you, I don't know if I'd have the fortitude to keep on going, but I just want you to look at him in a different way the next couple of weeks and say, boy, he has every reason to give up, every single reason to say no more, because you will be in a place in life in the next decade or two where it feels like the walls are closing in, where everything is collapsing. And I want you to look and say, you know what, despite all the negatives I hear about him, I think it is darn admirable that this guy keeps on fighting and he keeps on scrapping and he will not give up. So, wow. yes, as far as, as, far as um, his kids, he's raised great kids. Look, I, I, I'm biased. President Trump has been a great friend. We've gotten to know each other really well. He treated me super well. I'm awfully defensive of him in the sense of just like, I don't think people really understand who he is. He's an alpha beast entrepreneur that loves his country, that is the bodyguard of Western civilization. He's like, New York City entrepreneur, developer, meets UFC fighter, you know, meets just like, I want to see the country in a better place. And I, 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 I really am, I'm saddened by where we're at in the country, regardless of your politics, I, I really, I, it doesn't really bother me. I think we can all agree that it's just flat out wrong that you can use the instruments of government to go indict a, like honestly, if you hate Trump so much, go beat him at the ballot box. Like stop indicting him. Okay, you are, you are cutting in line to try to interrupt a direct referendum of whether or not you want this person to be an elective office or not. And so, the, the other thing I'll say about this, I've never seen a human being work as hard as Donald Trump. I just had, I had dinner with him a couple weeks ago in Bedminster, New Jersey. And like, I'm a pretty high energy guy and he exhausts me. Like, exhausts me. Like, after two hours of a dinner with him, I'm like, I gotta go to bed. He's like, and how about this, and this guy, and this, and have you seen this thing, and like, and this, and get me. He's like, oh my goodness. And in some ways, like, all this opposition is like a life force to him. And I'll kind of just repeat what I said in a different way, though, which is, you know, it, um, it's easy to complain. It's easy to give up. It's easy to do all those things. But you are go there's going to be a question where there's a fork in the road. Do I surrender or do I persevere? Do I surrender or do I persevere? And um, I, I've learned the lesson firsthand from him that whenever I come against opposition, that I'm going to keep on pushing through.